purpose is a gentleman from California seek recognition. Uh, Madam Chair, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Amendment offered by Mr. Peters of California, page 22, line 5, after the dollar amount Madam Chair, insert. I have a consent. Is there objection? The gentleman is recognized for five minutes to explain his amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. Two years ago, on September 8, 2011, San Diego and much of Southern California, Arizona, and parts of Mexico suffered a huge electric power failure. This was the biggest electric power failure in the history of California. Millions of people were left without electricity when a 500 kilovolt high voltage transmission line from Arizona to California failed, knocking a major nuclear power plant offline. The electricity outage led to school and business closures, flight cancellations, suspended water service, and dark traffic lights. And when the power goes out, it's not just our lights that are affected. In the heat without air conditioning, we're putting the health of our seniors and vulnerable populations at risk of health failures. So the risks of public safety and health increase, and economic disruptions can be hard to, be, to recover from. We are putting greater load on our grid each day, and the grid faces also threats to its cybersecurity. In addition, we've seen extreme weather events wreak havoc on the grid. DOE is making great strides to strengthen our grid and make it more resilient to all threats, and we need to protect this critical infrastructure. The Appropriations Committee has recommended $80 million for the electricity delivery and energy reliability, which is a cut of $32.49 million from FY13 levels. My amendment would increase electric delivery and energy reliability by $10 million with, with an equal offset reduction to the DOE's departmental administration account. This increase will strengthen the electric grid and provide greater power reliability for all Americans. And the amendment would support the research and technology to improve, to improve grid strength and reliability. More important, these, are, these are more important investments than this particular department administration account. This is spending reduction in the long run. The costs of energy outages are much greater than what we put into modernizing and strengthening the grid. Every dollar that we put towards making our infrastructure more resilient yields $4 in future savings. When the power goes out, there are huge economic costs. Our modern world can't function and perform business transactions without electricity, and we need to ensure that the power is there. If it goes out, we need to make sure that it gets, gets back on quickly. A better grid will save taxpayers money. A better, smarter, more modern grid will lead to fewer outages, getting power back faster, and savings uh, in cost. Madam Chair, I, I, uh, I ask for the support of uh, my colleagues, and I yield back the balance of my time.